Okay guys, so um, here we have all the parts um, for my brand new personal gaming rig. Um, I, I have been looking forward to doing this video for so long, so I guess all I'm going to do is go through the parts. So for my CPU, I went with a Ryzen 3, and I know um, I'm sure a lot of you were expecting like a pretty high-end system, but really this isn't bad. The reason I went with a Ryzen 3 is because all I have to do from there is buy a Ryzen 7. I have an AM4 motherboard, therefore it's just upgradability from there. That's what I did. I, fe I basically future-proofed it. Um, so this can do me until I have the money to be able to put, put the money aside to get the highest end maybe Ryzen 5 or maybe a low end mid range Ryzen 7 I don't know um, yeah so there's we have my Ryzen 3 1200 I have a idea cooling frost flow yeah the frost flow 120 and um, I'm looking to get this to run at about 4 gigahertz if not I can attempt 4.1 but I'm gonna my base mark I'm looking to get at is 4 uh, 4 gigahertz which I think should give me good performance in games and it'll give me a nice snappy um, snappy system. For my motherboard I have an MSI Tomahawk B350 um, a pretty good motherboard any reviews I've seen of it uh, they've been basically raving about it saying it's a, it's a, um, a very good motherboard for the price and I will agree um, when I saw this come up for the same price I had another one in I had to go for this over the other one I forget what the other, one, what the other one was, I think it was more of just a generic MSI board, it wasn't the, the Tomahawk or anything. Um, we have uh, 8 gigabytes of ADATA um, XPG, this is only 2133, but um, RAM speed doesn't exactly make a difference, especially in gaming. Um, I'm not worried about it too much. Uh, I've already spoken about my ID Cooling Frost Flow 120. Um, for my case, I have a Game Max Draco, uh, tempered glass side panel. Recently, did an, uh, an unboxing and review of it. I have a v uh, Corsair VS five fifty. Um, someone was already saying that it's not a very high end power supply, and uh, I agree with that. It's not high end, but it will get the job done more than sufficiently, and it will perform good. It's a good sturdy power supply, just as good as any any of the other ones I've used, like the Aerocools or whatever. It's just. I didn't want to spend too much on a power supply, um, because I I am used to buying the kind of uh, budget oriented ones, not the uh, not the ones that will blow up your system. These and the aero cools and all that. Um. Yeah, so I I've gotten used to being able to uh, shave a couple of pounds here or there going for one of these power supplies that will do the job perfectly fine and um, this has a bottom basement so I don't need a modular power supply I can just hide the cables under there and um, I will move on to storage which I have here and uh, they're not pretty at the moment but I have uh, two 160 gig Intel SSDs and that should be enough storage for now if I run out of storage I do have a 500 gigabyte uh, three and a, or sorry, two and a half inch hard drive lying around that I can use I'm not really looking to use it but if needs be I can throw that in and for graphics cards uh, I have a GTX 1080 and um, this is not staying uh, I am getting a 1060 it's just a thing that my 1060 hadn't arrived yet and so I just kind of decided I'd throw this in it for the time being. I'm aware this is going to be thoroughly bottlenecked. Um, but I'm not going to be using it to its full potential. So other than that, that's basically it. Oh yeah, I got some, uh, I got a kit of red uh, cable extensions. So we have 24 pin. Um, I'm trying to find it. Here we go. 8 pin CPU power, 6 pin PCIe, another 6 pin PCIe, uh, a solid, solid 8 pin, and an 8 plus 2. I don't know why some are solid, some aren't. Um, so that's working out. 
yeah, these are these are really nice looking cables, especially for the price I got them at. I got them for um like a full kit, thirty two pounds, and I haven't seen any other any other company. Uh, these are made by up here. I actually did a I used a CPU cooler from them not too long ago, uh, and it was a uh, it was decent. I mean, for the price, it was pretty good. But these are incredibly well priced. And uh, I went for them just because I didn't want the uh, ketchup and mustard in such a nice build. But yeah, if you can't, if you haven't figured it out by now, the theme is kind of black and red. I'm aware of this, but um, that isn't the worst thing in the world. I don't mind that. Uh, everything else will tie in perfectly fine. And also, I'm going to be painting my SSDs. I these are sanded down at the moment. That's why they look kind of weird in some light. There are some areas where they're not sanded down as much because there was adhesive there and that's been sanded off. So yeah, I have to go pick up some red spray paint. I can't today because my mother took the car off. Um, and I'm not walking into town because that'll be, you know, half an hour. Half an hour of a walk. Um, just to pick up some spray paint and I'll do it tomorrow when I'm actually painting them. These will be going in today. I will be putting them in today and I'll be explaining what I'm going to be doing with them. Uh, just not yet. Because I'm still figuring everything out. But there's one thing I am doing um, with the red spray paint as well. I'm taking the snap off PCIe brackets off this case. And I'm using some uh, some ones I have off with the cases. They're all the same. Uh, they're not going to be mismatched or anything. But I'm going to paint those red as well. So I have the red LED fans. I don't know whether I'm going to use the fan that comes on the ID cooler. I would imagine that's designed to go on a radiator, but I also don't want to lose the LED fan. Here I have my um, MSI Tomahawk B350. Take it out of its box. And then we can see what uh, lies beneath. Nothing in that bit. Driver disc. Uh, some form of, I would imagine, for warranty. Quick installation guide. Something to talk about memory modules. And then your user's guide. Put those on the ground. We have our two static cables one that's straight to right angle, one that's straight to straight. And we have our I.O. shield. That's all that's in the box. That's usually all that you get in most motherboard boxes unless you go for a very high-end one. But this is the basic, all that you'll actually need. Now most of this actual build is going to be a time lapse. There is just going to be some parts where I don't actually, uh, just don't have the video sped up because I'll be talking about something or I'll have to mention something or I, I want to just point something out. But other than that, this is mostly all going to be sped up. But first of all, I want to kind of just appreciate how nice this motherboard looks. I wasn't expecting it to be as nice as it is, but I think it'll go in this system really, really nicely. It'll look really nice. It does have um, M.2 support, so I will be able to get one of those if I ever want to. But, um, yeah, this should be really nice. So, time to speed everything up. Okay, so 
you can see I have my two SSDs here. They're not in the best shape because they've been sanded down. And I've, I've actually used toothpaste on them, which um, helps get any, any adhesive off. Uh, that's still that was still there. It's not there anymore. It actually worked pretty well. But these are just annual Intel SSDs. My camera's just about to run out of battery. But anyway, I have this um, it's Nissan Red 526 spray paint. I got it in Halfords. Um, that I think that'll look really nice on them. It should go well with my cables. I matched them. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna take these apart and uh, spray paint just the tops and leave the silver bit along the side and I think that will uh, give it a nice contrast when you look in from the side it'll be red and red and a bit of silver I'm sorry if I'm pointing over there I'm not used to holding this camera but yeah I'm looking forward to this I'm looking forward to having this build done So here are the tops of my SSDs. They came out looking all right. I mean, the paint didn't turn out as like spotless as I wanted, but um, they sure did turn out pretty nice. Then it's a it's quite a nice red. So now what I have to do? Can, can you stop attacking stuff there? Thank you. Yeah, um, just need to put them back together. So I have my screws here. I'll get your screwdriver. So let's um, let's do this.